good morning, folks. Today we're looking at space weather, earth weather, seismicity, deep space news, and some more from over in Fukushima, Japan. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding a relatively calm last 24 hours on our star. Bright active regions have passed center longitude and are heading for the limb, and then we'll go out of view. The earth-facing quiet stifled these sunspots completely on their second pass, so no solar flaring, and we're still awaiting the stream from the southern coronal hole as the next one becomes visible on the north. If the southern stream doesn't hit tonight, it may have missed our planet. Top seismic activity on Earth yesterday was relatively regional. Top three on Earth were clustered around South America there. The top weather event of the last day was the fall of the October snow record in Montana. More than 30 inches fell in some parts of the state, with wind spawn drifts reported as high as 8 feet. First snowstorm of the year is a blizzard, and it sets a record. Up next, merging galaxies. While there is a gulf between mainstream black hole science and alphenic electrical theories, we still have some massive structures to study out there, even if their understood nature may change in the future. My top points for your awareness here is that there is still no heeding of Hannes Alfane's warning about cosmic plasma, and no evidence that Sandy, a Z-machine auger destruction debunking in the X-ray spectrum, will be considered by the folks using this X-ray telescope. Up next, so the background is this. In 2011, few people discussed Fukushima as much as this community. Over half the possible worst radiation came out on the first day with the explosion and the plutonium, with the remainder leaking slowly but much harder to pin down. Now they're saying the hydrological system of Japan may be aiding the coastal water flows and localized distribution of radioactive cesium. I would further note that the liquefaction during the magnitude 9 earthquake that caused these problems in the first place left the entire region a bit more leaky and porous than before. Folks, after a couple emails asking if you got Kat's new children's book in time for the included gifts and buttons that were supposed to go out for the first 100 people, well, we decided to get a bunch more swag for the kids. So anyone who places an order in October will get little gifts included for the little one and guaranteed delivery by Thanksgiving. Kids' first books are ages two and up, but hey, lots of us read to our little ones before that. We both greatly appreciate your support. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Your October planetary geometry is posted as Deeper Look episode 76 of the year. We've got the world's wind maps, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.